I'll knock that one. This is the uh, super duper easy cheesy lemon squeezy. You can die and you still win throne room build. And get an electric aura there. Get an ensnare there. Get an electric aura here as close as you can get it to that other stack. Get an ensnare in there. We want what? You want to, we're gonna use DSTs of course. If there's no infinite spin with Genie, the rogue will get a bad name, 1000%, no doubt. It's gotta happen. Uh, so on the boss fight, you know, we're gonna use DSTs as the primary power, right? So on the boss fight, you got to do something about all the other mobs because the DSTs are all going to be zo zoned in on the boss, right? So what you do is you CC all the other mobs. So we're going to come out here and basically we just want to CC the copter ogres. That's the only thing we really care about. So um, we're going to come out here and we're going to drop an ensnare and a gas trap right there just to uh, CC the Copter Ogres for the boss fight. And then, we're gonna go stupid on DSTs. Imagine that. So we're gonna go full six DU there, not because we need to, I think just the DU works out that way. And then you want, okay, you got boss lane, non-boss lane, and non-boss lane. This non-boss lane needs one DST. That non-boss lane needs two DSTs. Everything else is going to go into the boss lane. So let's go ahead and start it off, and we'll get uh, our two DSTs for that non-boss lane. Let's get a bunch of DSTs for the boss lane. We'll go uh, one. Do I, do I have these placed right? It doesn't look like that first DST is getting any juice. Nah, it's not. I gotta put these a little bit closer. So let's see, let's go like that. That's getting the juice. That's getting the juice. Yep, they look good. Good enough anyway. So we got the two on that non-boss lane. We're gonna put, I think I normally use six right here. Six on the actual boss lane. Now watch, this won't work just because I called it the you can die and you still win build. <laughs> That's how things work. <laughs> I had people asking me for a build like this because they said they were constantly dying. They're like, you do it on Demon Lord. Can you do it on Throne Room? You know? Okay, so we got six DSTs that way. We got one more DST for this spawn. So one DST two DSTs, six DSTs. Uh, you do want to get all your fusion stuff going, so I'm going to put the gas trap, fusion gas traps back in the deck. And then I'm going to just dump everything else onto these boss DSTs. Uh, none of the other DSTs will really need much. Um, you know, I'll give one upgrade. I think I'll give one upgrade there, and I'll give uh, one upgrade here, and then just dump literally all the mana for the entire rest of the match onto the boss DSTs. And then uh, I'm just gonna chillax it out. Now I'm staying back here so that my speedy is buffing these four. 
once we get to the boss fight, I'm going to step that up so that it's buffing the next group of four. But we should just be able to chill right here and uh, talk about random stuff. Ali, what's up, man? How you doing? I've actually, I've got most of the grind done already, Ali. I'm not sure what else I want, you know, like what other pieces I want to save or whatever. Neptune, thank you so much for following. I do appreciate it a ton. Welcome, welcome. And take a look at what's going on on the mini map here or on the tech map. You know, there's really, there's just no protection at all at the cores. But those side mobs just don't make it. You know, they just don't make it. Now, obviously, if something did make it, it would be over. But just the ensnare are, like, makes them put on the brakes and then uh, they die to either the DSTs or the fusion electric aura. But it's definitely a pretty solid build really and it's super it's super easy you know it just doesn't require much i'm gonna suicide on the boss just to show you guys that you can die you can die on the boss and it's all good so i'm gonna go try to face tank the boss that'll go well <laughs> i'll be able to get a few shots in on him anyway But yeah, you see, everything's just really just evaporating. It's just a matter of waiting out the meat grinder. Now, obviously, this isn't a starter build. You know, this is with full fusion sets. So fusion DSTs, fusion gas, fusion ensnare, fusion electric. So this is a, a later game farm build, no doubt. But it allows you, I mean, one thing that you can always guarantee, and that is I am lazy as hell. So I'm always going to try to find a way to get as lazy as I can. Uh-oh, we got Yo-Yo. Oh, Yo-Yo got wrecked. Woo! I'm not used to seeing the ogres march in that far. He got wrecked, but boy, that came down to the wire, huh? But yeah, anyway, once you have a fusion set and you just you're in that must mindlessly farm throne room six million times to get a genie and decent weapons. Once you hit that state of the game, this is a super duper chill build that's just all ultra lazy. Ultra, ultra lazy. Did I check out Kinseed game? I did not. I don't remember that one. Was that one you had suggested there, Thanon? I tell you what I'm really waiting for now is isn't uh isn't um Coral Island gonna be going into beta or alpha or whatever soon? Isn't that supposed to be up and coming soon? Yeah, I'm 100% going to play that. I'm hoping they don't put a, a, an NDA or whatever on the alpha or beta. I'd like to be able to stream it. I'm sure they won't. You wouldn't think, but I mean, who knows? You know, you never know what people are going to do. Depends on what state the game is in, I think, and if they want people seeing it yet. If the game's not in a good state, but that looks definitely looks like a very, very good, relaxing game to play. Take it easy there, holy sheep man. Thanks for swinging by. I do appreciate you. So once again, only upgrading the boss uh, DSTs. From this point, we just chilling. We just chilling. I could upgrade. I, did I upgrade that electric car? Yeah, it looks like the electric car is already upgraded all the way. You do want to get your electric cars upgraded all the way. Because they're putting in the bulk of the work down in the lanes. The DSTs are doing a good job picking off the chaos enemies. Trademark, thank you so much for following. 
Uh, anyway, the DSTs are doing a really good job at picking uh, off the special enemies, like the nightmare enemies. But as far as the packs, it's all Aura. You know, the electric Rs are chewing all that up. And you see the lane behind me. I don't even bother looking at because just nothing makes it. Even just that one DST there. The one DST is basically for Shuriken, you know? If you get any Shuriken rolling out. But yeah, nothing nothing makes it out of that back lane. Uh, no. Chaos is a DD2 only thing. They're Star Legend. It's not in any other Dungeon Defenders game. Basically, all the Dungeon Defenders games are the same, except DD2, and DD2 is done completely differently. It wasn't made by the same company. I mean, it was the same company, but it wasn't the same ownership. Basically, what happened is Dungeon Defenders 1 was made... What's up, Sniper? Dungeon Defenders 1 was made, was ridiculously successful, and the company got bought out by a big finance company. Well, the big finance company made Dungeon Defenders 2, and then they wanted to scrap the game when it turned out to be a flop. And um, the original owners, or the original creators of the first Dungeon Defenders, uh, bought the company back. Is that That's the TLDR. What kind of late game progression would I want to see in DDA besides the episodes? I mean, I like the, syst I like the loot grind system, personally. Yeah, that's nothing new. Diverse mods have always gotten good DPS, but they require a shitload of DU. They're not as good as anti-mod stacks. I mean, they're as good as anti-mod stacks if you have, like, eight different defenses. But, I mean, that's like a really, really old meme. Uh, some of the newer players to the game are just now discovering it. I mean, it's strong. But it's not something that... Uh, in the current state of the game, anyway, for DD2, it's not something that you want to be your... Uh... Well, yeah, I mean, 4 million DPS Flame Aura is nothing, though. I mean, my Flame Auras are, like, over 3 million, not including the anti-mods. So you add the anti-mods in, and that's, like, what, 200 and, or 180% more damage? I mean, it's a playstyle choice. It, it 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 will be functional if you choose to play that way. The most of the the uh, high onslaught climbers are using anti mods still. I mean, they all play with different stuff, but the thing that diverse mods really do for you is they make you look like a superhero in tavern where there's no actual enemies. We better upgrade this electric car too, huh? Get them all juiced. This one is all the way up, right? Yeah, it is. I'm gonna hit this ensnare too. How's this ensnare doing? This one's getting a workout. Throw an upgrade on it just just because I can. And then this other 5900. We're going to dump right into the DSTs. Looks like... Oop, did I get them all? I think I got them all now. Yeah, all the boss DSTs are fully upped. So I'll just dump the rest into the ground lanes. Your sword is 337. I'm sure what my best sword is. Let me look. Well, I'm sure my best sword is not in my bag. Probably equipped. Yeah, it looks like my best one's a 314 that's equipped. Or that's not equipped. Let me see. What's my Squire got on him? My Squire, I think, has got crap on him. I don't even know. Let's see, let's see. Oh, yeah, that one's poo. 
This is a builder, though, isn't it? No, I upgraded into melee damage. I don't think that's my actual DPS squire, though. Or is it? Wally, not Monk. Not Monk has got the goods, right? Eh. It's not a great sword. I mean, it's a workable sword. But it's certainly not a great one. Uh, it doesn't really matter, Star Legend. Get whoever you want to get. Once you get the EV2, it doesn't matter who else you get. Get whoever whoever you fancy. Remember to prioritize fun. You know, you gotta prioritize fun. So whichever one looks like the most fun is who you should be playing. Period. Just how it is. Well, I mean, you're my the first thing I would suggest to you is to look at them all, see who you think is the most fun. If you've already got the EV2, then you've got the meta already covered. So, you know, go 100% off your instinct. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to anybody else. Look at them all. Look at the options. See who looks like the most fun, and that's who you should get. No, I, this is just uh, this is a um, a build that was a viewer request there, Smokey, that people asked me uh, to do, or people were saying you did builds on the Demon Lord, where if you die, you still win. Can you do one for the throne room? If you die, you still win. Well, this is the if you die, you still win build. So, like, I'm going to go suicide on the boss and see if the boss still dies. Which, in theory, it should. But we'll see. Of course, I've never tested it on stream. Testing it on stream is the key. But I'm not really farming for anything in particular. I've got everything I need, really, for the most part. I mean, I could farm for better stuff, but the value I would get out of it is very, very, very small. Summit, I don't think, is going to be possible in Rifted. If it wasn't for the Dark Elf Warriors, you could make it happen with DSTs. You could position DSTs up top, but the Dark Elf Warriors just smash them all. It's the most OP mod mob in the game, in my opinion. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. I'm not going to bother with any of the mana out there or anything. I'm just going to let all the mana drop. Let it all die. Uh, when the boss comes, I'll throw like a tower boost down or two. And then as soon as the boss peeks around the corner here, I'm just going to go start smashing on him and let him kill me. And uh, the boss should still die. Should indeed. Yeah, everything's upgraded good. Willing to buy button to skip boss timer. <laughs> it's the longest 30 seconds of the game. No doubt. All right, so we're just going to chillax it out. We're going to tower boost it up a little bit. We'll spray in and help some of these uh, mobs get cleared out. And then basically, as soon as I see the boss, I'm just going to go kamikaze him. And uh, where's he at? There he is. All right, so we're just going to come kamikaze the boss here. We'll let him punch us in the face. We dead. And then 
The boss will come down to the center, and he's just going to get pelted by the DSTs the whole time. The copter ogres are all being crowd controlled. And the boss, slowly but surely, fizzles down away. I mean, obviously it ain't dead yet. But it's dying. Oh, and we got a Dark Elf Warrior on our DSTs. But the boss is going to be dead before the Dark Elf Warrior gets the DSTs down. So, yep, yeah, that is the you can win even if you die. Uh, massacre, Hardcore, Rifted, Throne Room. So, don't sweat dying, y'all. Just move your DSTs from over here to over here. <laughs> the most, to be honest with you, the most common problem you see is when people try to stack all the DSTs through the middle here. Because then the boss is just going to come down and wreck them. The boss isn't going to hit the DSTs up here. So, they're just going to sit there and fire away at them the whole time. All right, so who do we want to loot that chest on? Probably should loot it on, uh, on a squire, huh? Bust out little Lalters. Maybe little Lalters has got the good luck. Give me the RNG there, Lalters. All right, we got us a uh, godly. Ah. That's better than my other one. I mean, it's not a thing of beauty, but it's better than my other one. So we'll take it. We got a little monkey action. Got a low roll monkey. 